So let's directly jump to the demo. The first part of the demo is around the metadata marketplace. So metadata marketplace is the collection of packages that helps us to extract, mine, transform, create relationships across your data estates. So just like could could give you a reference example, in the world of Python, there are 400K Python packages that are available. The world of NPM, which the JavaScript developers use, or GitHub, where there are amazing apps and actions on top of GitHub, app exchange on top of Salesforce, where there are a lot of tools that are built up on the core activation sales platform to drive use cases. Similarly, Atlin has built a similar metadata marketplace that today powers a lot of metadata use case uh, for a lot of our customers. So we've opened three kinds of packages right now on our marketplace. Number one, connectors. Connectors are straightforward connectors, goes, goes to your sources, touches the information schema, looks at all the logs, and extracts metadata to create technical metadata on the platform. Miners, which are more, which goes through your operational metadata, goes through query logs, extracts popularity, drives lineage, and uh, those kind of cost use cases on the platform. And we'll touch upon some of them today as well. And utility, which data team does not need a Swiss knife. So if you make mistakes, utility is there to help you in that process. So without, in fact, spending more time on this, let's actually see what the marketplace looks like in real life. What you're seeing right now is the Atlin workspace. If you look at the stack, we have the platform, but this is the workspace that the end users use. So for the sake of demo, let's create a new workflow. We'll go to the, we'll go to the marketplace and see how that all the packages look like. So like I said, so let's, whether this is Snowflake, your warehouse, these are packages, DIY connectors, where you can, as long as you have the credentials, we can extract all the technical governance metadata that exists in your warehouse. Or you love Databricks. Uh, we, in fact, recently built a native integration with Unity Catalog. So if you're you looking to drive lineage via Databricks, uh, Atlin is Unity Catalog ready. Or, so th these are just from a source perspective. But what if, if you want to bring, create cross-source lineage? So we have native integration with Fivetran where we can look at the APIs and create end-to-end -end lineage on Atlin out of the box, self-serve, as long as you have your credentials uh, to go through the next step. And apart from the modern data world, we've started investing in some legacy sources like the Oracle SAP HANAs of the world. While a lot of our customers uh, use Databricks and Snowflake, but all of them have one or two Oracle databases, Postgres databases, where they store their actually transactional data. Now, beyond these connectors, you have the miners, which uh, helps you to out of the box, uh, bring in your query metadata, lineage metadata, popularity metadata to drive uh, a lot of data, uh, active metadata use cases on top of Atlin. Again, self serve, you can decide to do a connection. You can decide what kind of extraction method you want to drive out of, uh, what, what, at what timeline you want to start with, uh, do some pre-flight checks. We've made it very easy for data teams to set some of this up. Now, once you've set some of this up, how does this actually look like when you look at from an admin perspective? So let's go to assets, which is your data marketplace, which brings in assets uh, across assets and metadata across your data estate. What we are seeing right now is a list of all your assets across your different sources that you've set up. So for the sake of this demo, I'm just gonna look at what have we gotten in from a Snowflake perspective. So what you're seeing is obviously, you know now which database, which schema, the stable lands at, What's the actual model? So if you're using DBT as a transformation layer, you get to see actually the model that is driving this. You, you get to know when was the last model run. Is it stale? Is it not stale? What's the configuration? What's been materialized? You can get to see classifications in case you are capturing these tags at Snowflake or DBT, you can bring some of those in. So this is from a business metadata, technical metadata. 